Hello everybody and welcome to the Fisherman Fishing Planet. Today we are down on the Neheron River. Have I pronounced that right? If I haven't, I don't really care, but we're in North Carolina, the Neheron River. And we're going to be fishing for some flathead catfish. And uh, it's going to be really easy. It's not too difficult to catch fish in this game, um, the Fisherman or the Fishing Planet. Once you know where they are, it's uh, it, it's really easy and um, I think pretty predictable. So I haven't got the best rods or the best setup yet to do this. My rods aren't perfect, but I'm going to use the feeder rods because I've never used the feeder rods before because I know they're in Fishing Planet, but I stopped playing Fishing Planet and I never had a go with the feeder rods. So I'm going to use the feeder rod setup. It's not the best setup, but it should do. It should do. Um, let me just reel this in because I want this rod. This is rod number two. I want it on the right hand side of that rod rest. So apologies for that. I like to get my rods in order so I know which ones they are. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cast out. Normally you see some swirls or ripples in the water. I'm going to cast out to them swirls or ripples. They should be there. I am fishing in peak times. Peak times are the best times. So, um, this is day two. I skipped day one because in the morning it wasn't in peak time. So, I, I skipped day one and I've gone straight on to day two. So, let's see what happens, chaps. We should be catching some flathead catfish real soon. So, the peak times are the best times to actually um, catch them, or, well, any fish in the game. Peak times are your, are your best times. Um, you can catch them throughout the day. Oh, boom, we're in straight away, Luke. <laughs> this is going to be a catfish because we are fishing with, um, I've got cut bait or medium cut bait. Unless it's a gar, I don't think I'm going to get any gar from here. But um, it should be a catfish. And these, like I say, these rods aren't the best rods reel and uh, line um, it's just what was available to me at this time in the game and I think we've got rod number one going off as well I don't think we're going to get that so we've had two bites straight away yeah rod number one is jingling away I'll try to get this in as quick as I can but um, I think we'll lose Rod number one there. I think we'll uh, I think we'll lose that fish. Yeah, the bait was eaten or lost. We've lost that. Um, so hopefully this is a flathead catfish. They're not too difficult to catch. Normally, you, you normally have float fish. I have. You can do them float fishing along here. There's various ways you can catch them um, on, on this peg where I am now. And this peg is, um, you start off on the rubble of old times peg and you, you just walk up the lake a little bit, up the river, should I say, a little bit, and down the bank and under the tree. It's a nice little spot. And there we go. Have we got, the, have we got this now? I can see it swirling in the water there, just nice big flathead catfish. And as you can see, you can see a couple of guys over there a couple of fishermen over there, a couple of players who look like they're fishing for the uh, the red ear. Is it some fish? The unique, the the uh, one of the missions in the game. So this this peg is opposite um, that peg where you would fish for that unique um, red ear, some fish, whatever it is, <laughs> in the game on one of the on one of the missions. So we're opposite that peg. Hopefully nobody else will come down here why I'm uh, why I'm doing this video. If if they do, I may put it into a uh, a private room because uh, we don't want anybody walking in front of us, do we? This is a bit of a fighter. It's going to be a bit of a struggle. This I think this is a twenty pound floor. Uh, the uh, the twenty pound line I've got on here. Uh, like I say, it's not the perfect setup, but it's the only one I've got available at the moment so this is going to be a bit of a fight I reckon possibly with this setup what we've got now I have had um, flatheads I have had catfish out of here when I played fishing planet um, I think over 30 pounds at least 30 pound anyway 
and they'll possibly add them over 30 pounds I'm not too sure if we had a couple of 40s I can't remember um, I don't know what I'm going to catch today but this is just one place where you can easily um, catch the catfish in another video I'll go to another spot and I'll show you another spot where, you can, where I have had some big catfish where I know I've had some really big catfish out of here so uh, that'll be in a future video but for now this is maybe aimed at the novice player who's never played this game before this is a nice easy place to catch a catfish and this is just one particular method of catching them he's a bit of a fighter this one wobbles I might be a bit harsh trying to get it in but I just want it in and on the bank <laughs> I have no idea, size-wise, what we're going to catch today. But if you want to hit that subscribe button in future videos, I will cover catching the 30-pounders because uh, I'm sure there's 30-pounders in this lake plus. I'm not, like I say, I'm not too sure if I caught 40s in the past out of here. Um, I did stop playing Fishing Planet, so I can't quite remember. But we're on the Fisherman. I'm hoping perhaps the Fisherman will inspire me to play the game again. But um, I'll see as time goes on. I will see. I will see. I'm not really happy with that bait coin system in this. I brought the DLC, a couple of them DLC packs. And I brought them because they were cheap. They were like under £4. And you get some fantastic kits. Has anybody brought them? I did. And the reason I brought them was they were under £4. It was quite cheap to buy the DLC. And you get some beautiful kit. Absolutely beautiful rods and reels. Really well done. They are exceptional. Including the boat. They are really well done. But what I don't like is um, the damage factor on them. The repair costs in bait coins. I was looking at the net. I see I've got a big net up there. And that was part of that DLC package. It's a huge net. And um, I, it was something like 100 bait coins to repair it. And uh, that. And it wasn't even full damage. I mean, it's, it's just outrageous. I believe... I have read that they are looking into it to balance it out some more, but uh, we will see. So there you go. We came, we conquered. That's what I wanted to catch today. A flathead catfish. Just over £19, just coming in under £20. Not a monster, but we got one. And uh, yeah, give him a kiss, Pobbles. Take a picture and put him in your keep net. <laughs> And we'll cast back out again and uh, see if we can get another. But what? Oh, devoted one. Oh, we got a bait coin. We only got the one, though. They're a bit tight with these bait coins, aren't they? Hey, they don't exactly throw them at you, do they, in this game? Um, bait coins. That's what I was talking about once and before I landed that catfish. So let's let's just cast, let's cast that out. Yeah, I brought that DLC. Now, what I don't agree with is when you buy a product like that DLC, which is absolutely fantastic. The DLC, that DLC, then uh, that Predator Boat Pack and that Trophy Pack, whatever it is, absolutely, I could highly recommend them. The kit in there is fantastic. The rods are beautiful. The reels are beautiful. The boat is awesome. But the negative side is once you damage them, You've got to repair them with bait coins. That's your paying for an item. You're paying for an item. You're paying for a product to have it taken away with you. In-game via an in-game virtual currency. And they're taking off you something that you pay for. I don't agree with that. And that's why I stopped playing Fishing Planet. Free me and payware. I mean, people are buying this as a base game. You pay, you're paying your money buying a base game, but you don't want stuff taken off you with virtual currency. What's what's coming next with this? DLC packs, bait coins. Is that coming next? It shouldn't be that way. Not when you pay for the base game and you're paying for your DLC. Sure, have a repair system in, but don't have the bait coin ones. Put it in with the cash what you earn. Get rid of them bait coins on this version. It's got, there's a lot of people not happy with it. There's a lot of players not happy with it. I've seen the forums. 
and um, a lot of people are disgusted with that but I have seen a game dev come up and the game dev has said they are looking at it and they're going to reduce it but I still suspect it's going to be bait coins and bait coins don't and the bait coins don't come easy but uh, anyway that's a rant over let's carry on with fishing it because it is a good game oh we got a 14 pounder 658 smackaroonies give him a kiss chuck him back in it is a good fishing game it is a good fishing game it's a bit predictable but nevertheless it is um, it is a good game as with fishing planet microtransactions and bait coins ruin it unless you've got all day to grind away or lots of hours of playtime to play it some people don't mind that fair enough but um, some players just haven't got the time to spend hours grinding away or, or have things taken off them with virtual currency and all that lot and this that and the other I'm hoping this is. I'm hoping. I thought this would be different. I'm hoping it is, but uh, nevertheless, it is a good game. But uh, and transactions and bait coins sort of ruin it. Two words keep coming in my mind: freemium and payware. And um, I just hope this game, <laughs> this the fisherman, isn't going to go down that way. Just hope this is going to be different. Will they listen to the players? I doubt it. And will we catch another one? Are we going to catch a 30? Will we get a 30 pounder out today from this peg? I'm not too sure if I've had 30 pounders from this peg. I do know another peg where I know I have had some huge catfish. A lot bigger than what I'm catching currently now out of this uh, out of this river. Um, I will go there on, an on another day. I started playing this game, even though this is the Fisherman, I started playing, I think it was Fishing Planet, I don't know if it was 2015 or 2016, I started playing Fishing Planet, so the old the old hunts where you're going to catch the fish are going to be exactly the same, there's a few extras in this game, not much, but there's a few extras, um, we do get a lot more credits, we do get a lot more credits, um, when we catch the fish and a lot more XP. It's a little bit of like having a premium account, isn't it? So uh, that's on a plus note, and you do accelerate through the game a lot quicker. That's a plus note. That's a positive. <laughs> it's a lot easier to uh, play through. And boom, we are in again. This is a catfish. Well, it's a big fish. Hopefully, it's another catfish. Like I've mentioned, this isn't the best rod or reel combination. It was just, it's the only rod and reel I've got sort of available to me that I possibly thought was going to be suitable. And it looks like it is so far. Unless we get a 30 pounder on, I might struggle with a 30 pounder on this rod and reel combination. The line might be okay, but the rod and reel may not be. I'll just try and get it in on the bank as quick as possible. I'm not going to play the fish a great deal a lot of people say stop reeling in wobbles play the fish i get so many comments like that stop reeling they shout at me stop reeling in and play the fish but uh, i think i'll be here for over an hour <laughs> oh dear can we get this in on the bank he's nearly there this is a catfish another one how many have we caught is this the third one yeah, is he it? Is he it? Lift the rod up, he might come out. Come swinging towards me, as we haven't got a net. There we go, don't let that hit you in the face, Wobbles, it might knock you out. Oh, what's that? That's a 28 pounder. Hey, that's not bad, is he? That's just, un it was just under 29 pound, I think that was. It's a 28 pound catfish. Whew, look at that. That's going to give us some money, surely. Was he a trophy? Yes, he was. It was a trophy flathead catfish. We had a trophy. Hey, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. I, I don't know what we're going to get from here. So uh, we'll take a picture of that. Some nice money there and some nice XP as well. Yes, yes, yes. We're having that. That's a positive. We're liking this. Look at all that cash. Lovely jubbly. If only it was real. Right, let's cast in. Round about where them swill marks are on the river. That's... um. It's a good idea where to cast. 
Um, if you do use other baits, you will get bass from here. I've had a lot of bass from here as well. I'm not a keen bass fisherman. I like doing the predator stuff, the big, uh, catching the uh, the big fish, you know, like the catfish, carp, pike, gar. I, I do enjoy that type of fishing. That's the only downfall with fishing simulator pro tour. There's just so many bass in them lakes. <laughs> I sometimes give it a nickname of bass simulator, but uh, I do enjoy that game. That's another that's one of my favorite fishing games at the moment is fishing simulator pro tour. Will this one be one of my favorites? I'll have to see how it plays out because I'm not too sure about it. Great game. Microtransactions and bait coins, are they going to ruin it? I just hope they don't. Won't we get another one? I'm not too sure when the peak time drops. I think it's about 8 o'clock onwards the peak time drops. So we'll sit under the tree here. We'll have our flask. A little bit of tea with a little bit of whiskey maybe. Our sandwiches. And they're uh, just sitting and admire the view. Will we get another one? I think what they should do with this version, if they're going to start adding extra content and bringing out extra DLC for this version, I think they'll sell a lot more DLC and extra content. Oh, we're in again. Get the rod wobbles. Give it a good strike, look at that, boom. I think what they should do, and I think they'll sell a lot more content if they do it the way other games do it, and that's add content, you know, and, and sell DLC packages, but once you've paid your money, you've got them. And I think a lot more people will buy it, rather than, ha rather than buying it and having it taken off you in-game with virtual currency. I think they should do away with the bait coin system in this version. It's a bit harsh considering players. I mean, I don't mind what I say because I I I had this I've got a bit of an advantage because I had this game given to me, which is very much appreciated. But if I'd paid for this game, and I don't mind saying things like this because I'm just a small YouTuber, I don't earn a living from this. Um, whereas other, whereas some of the bigger YouTubers might be a bit biased because they are earning a living from it and they are sponsored, some of them will be sponsored videos so they, they will watch their tongues, some of them um, I'm under no obligation whatsoever so I can say for this game, very good game excellent game, graphics excellent, physics excellent some of the best physics I've ever seen but um, the Bitcoin system and microtransactions just ruin it. And I think with this being, I'm an average gamer, a lot of you out there are. I think if you pay money for this game, I think if you're buying the extra DLC, I don't think it should be taken off you when you're buying a product um, with a virtual in-game currency. I think they should do away with them Bitcoins in this version. Repair system or lower it. And I mean really, really lower it. But um, I think they should be have a repair system in, yeah, because you know that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty sim like, isn't it? It's pretty realistic. Keep the repair system, but let's have the rods paid with cash. Because at the moment, I in in game at the moment now, when I go into the shop, I'm staying away from them ones. I'm staying away from them shop, them products that you buy with the uh, the bait coins. Because you've got to repair them with the bait coins, so I'm using all the products that you repair with the cash. And I think that's how it should be in this game on, on, on them. And I think it'll be very good, and I think it'll do the game a heck of a lot. Uh, the game will go and sell a lot better if they did it that way. We've got the catfish. This is another catfish. I know I'm really in as I'm playing it. Some of you hate that. I apologise for it. You know, I am consistently really in. I just want to get it on the bank as quick as possible. <laughs> That's it. The more I can land, the better for the video. You don't want to see me playing this fish for much longer than what I have to do, do you really, in a video? 
If it was real life, I'd be, you know, I'd be handling it a little bit different than what I'm doing it. But this is this is a game. Um, come on, let's try and get him in, Wobbles. Put a bit of pressure on him. There he is in the water. Even the water looks good, doesn't it, in this game, you know. It just looks... It looks all really well. The frame rate's very good in this game. It just looks... It looks amazing. Could do with a better reel on this. Uh, could do with a better reel for this. This is not the best reel. It's doing the job, though. So far, I don't know how it would do on a 30 pounder, but uh, we've had a 28, haven't we? I think we've had a 28. Did we have? A, we had a trophy, I think. I'm not too sure if we did. I can't remember now. That's a 21 pounder. 966 macaroonies. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. We're whipping them out here. Whipping them out. 21 pounder. Flathead catfish. Lovely jubbly. Stick him in my net. Now I've got. I've not forgotten my net. I've got around about £84. Now, the downfall is if you're playing this and you haven't got a big net, you'd have filled your net multiple times now. And that's how the game's geared up, isn't it? It's geared up for you to, to try and spend real money to get the bigger nets and things in Fishing Planet anyway. £84. You've got to have a big net. If you haven't got the big net, you're not going to put all these catfish in. And that's how the game's engineered. To try and encourage you to uh, to spend the real money, isn't it, on Fishing Planet? Get some extra bait coins, buy the bigger nets. I mean, I'm lucky I've got a big net because I had that Predator boat, boat pack, I think it was, and that's got a big net in it. But the repair costs are absolutely... Woo! Sky high at the moment. On a plus note, they're looking at it. They're going to try and make it more balanced. So that's a plus note. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. I hope they really do balance it out. I hope they do because it is an enjoyable fishing game to play, isn't it, this one? I just hope they balance it out a bit more. And the more people might actually purchase um, the Fisherman Fishing Planet if they do balance it out a bit more because I've seen people, I've seen comments from people um, saying they won't buy it <laughs> because of the bait going system in it. Yeah. We're in again, we're in again, we're ripping them out, we are ripping them out here guys, ripping them out. Oh, is that rod number one going off as well? We got rod number one jingling away, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Look at rod number one going guys, I think we're not going to get that one. Soon be Christmas, won't it? Oh, well, it won't be when this video gets out probably, but um, yeah. No, I think we've lost. We lost it. It's still on. I tried to be really heavy and aggressive with this fish and get it in, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Because I'd like to get that one on rod number one as well. We're banging these catfish out, aren't we? <laughs> Isn't he doing well? Isn't he doing well? Like I say, guys, I mean, you can, you don't have to use this method. I came here today specifically just to use these feeder rods because I hadn't really um, used the feeder rods in the game because it came as an update in Fishing Planet um, quite a while ago, I think now, but um, I never used them because I stopped playing it. It's only because it was, I was sent a copy of this that I uh, always lost that one on rod number one now, but never mind. It was only because I was sent a copy of this, which is much appreciated. Um, it really is, being a small YouTube channel, um, sending a copy out. I suppose they risk it really, sending copies out to small YouTubers like myself, because they never know what they we're going to say about the game. <laughs> If I'm playing the game, if I'm playing the games, I'm generally liking them. I generally am. And I have to say, I do li I like Fishing Planet. I do like Fishing Planet. Um, but I don't like the microtransactions. <laughs> Anything else that goes with it. 
And I'm loving the fishermen fishing planet. But I'm going to wait and see how it pans out. We got a 20 pounder there. I hope they make this game more balanced. We got a 20 pounder there. Don't get me wrong, it's really, it's really easy to accelerate through this game. The Fisherman Fishing Planet. You know, you get loads of XP, you get loads of cash. Um, it is, it is a lot better. It's a lot better game. It really is. You've just got to wait up if you want to pay that extra money. Pay to win? Hmm, question marks. Let's recast this one back out, guys. And, uh, we're not doing too bad today on uh, on fish. We're not doing too bad at all. There's a couple of swirl marks there. We'll cast there. See if we can get ourselves another flathead catfish. Oh, rod number two's going off. Let's bang that one. Boom. Most definitely another large fish we got on here, chaps. Ripping them out. Like I say the downside of doing this is you you need you need a big keep net. If you haven't got a big keep net, you can't do it. You can't get as many in, can you? You've got to have this big keep net. I mean, I'm lucky at the moment. I've got this big keep net, but if it's going to cost me, you know, hundreds of bait coins to repair it, I might as well chuck it away. I just <laughs> it'd be useless then. I mean, I have got a lot of bait coins. Don't get me wrong. I, you will see, I, I've got about 300 bait coins, but I've only got rid of them because I got rid of some of that um, kit in the DLC, which I knew I wasn't going to use, like a hat or a jacket or or something like that. I I traded them in for bait coins because I'm not going. I don't like keeping loads of hats in me inventory. As long as I've got one good hat and one jacket, that does me. I I'm the sort of player who yeah, I don't need all that, so I I traded them in for bait coins. So that's one of the only reasons why I've got a lot of bait coins at this stage. If you do notice later on when I show you the rods and kit that I've got a lot of bait coins. That's the, that's the reason why. I got rid of some of that stuff in the DLC. I just wasn't going to use. Um, which is all very good stuff. But, you know, there was a hat I, I wouldn't have used. I favoured one hat over the other. And I'm only going to use one hat in the game and one jacket. And I like the camouflage kit. I do, and I like to be, you know, I like to be hidden on the bank so the fish can't see me because we don't want to scare them off. So <laughs> I like to stay camouflaged. Oh, yeah, this one's taking a while getting. Not the best reel, though, not the best rod. We will get the job done unless it spools off and snaps us. The line's. The lines, the lines, probably suitable, but uh, I think uh, the line isn't suited to the rod and reel. More so the reel, I think. What have we got here? This feels like a big one. Eighteen pounder, just short of nineteen pounds. Eighteen pounder, flathead catfish, eight hundred and fifty smackaroonies and some XP. Very, very nice. Give him a kiss. Chuck him in that keep net. Can you imagine that keep net in real life with all these catfish in? I don't think you could do it, could you? <laughs> It'd be an absolute massive keep net. It'd be, you know, you'd have to, you'd have to clamp it down in the water because. <laughs> the fish them, them catfish would just be um, swirling about inside it but um, it is a virtual keep net if you never played this game it's, it's just a virtual keep net oh dear will we get another one let's sit under our favorite tree wobbles reminisce um eat a sandwich a cup of coffee or a cup of tea is that yorkshire tea <laughs> and uh <laughs> We'll just wait. 
We've had quite a good session, and I think this has been quite a good session. I do. Oh, rod number one's going off. Get the rod bubbles, get the rod. Watch you don't slip as you grab the rod. Don't fall over, fall in the water. Boom, there we go. Have you ever done that in real life? Ran to your rod and slipped and fell in. <laughs> I've done it once or twice. Oh, dear. Right. What have we got? This is another good catfish. I think I've caught more catfish doing it this way than doing it with the float, you know. As time goes on, what, what you know, if, you, if you're one of them people who like fish all day and out of the, and out of the peak times, um, if I was doing it that way um, in this session, I would have these two rods set up and then I would have a third rod on the float. So if these two rods went really quiet because I'd gone out of the peak times and the bites weren't as frequent, I'd probably be using a third rod um, float fishing um, and obviously then I'll probably catch um, some some fish some bass and things like that but uh, I no need to do that today because um, the bites are very frequent um, I think mainly because we're in we're in the peak time at the moment And just remember, I can only do this today in this session because I have got a mega large keep net. If you haven't got that mega large keep net, you just can't do this. You can only get a few in, you know, especially in the early days. If you've got a 15 pound keep net, um, you're probably limited also on the weight of the single fish you can catch. Um, because I think it's geared up that way. Um... So you wouldn't even be able to possibly put see, it, it, it in your keep net because each keep net is, is, is designed in the game to hold a maximum amount of weight and a maximum limit weight wise on a single fish. So you've got to think about that when you come catfishing here. You've got to think about your keep net because your keep net plays a big part in this and that's very much how the mechanics of this game is geared up. Um, <clears throat> it's no good coming here with a small keep net which is only going to have the single maximum weight of a fish of 10 pounds or something because the fish you catch, a single fish that you catch, um, you know, you're going to be catching 18 pounders, 20 pounders. So you've got to think about... Um, your logistics regarding your keep net because your keep net plays a very big important role fishing this method as does your bait your hooks your rods your reels and your line so just bear that in mind i'm lucky at the moment i have got that big keep net how long am i going to be able to keep that big keep net that's going to be interesting look out for future let's plays i might have to change the way i play this game because if that bait coin system is as harsh as it currently is and bear in mind this is the fisherman fishing planet it's not been out a long time yet it's still in its early days the devs are looking at it i believe they're looking at the system to try and make it a little bit more equal um i think they've admitted it's a little bit harsh at the moment and they're looking to adjust it so let's see how long i can keep that big keep net and that big keep net came in a dlc pack did i pay my money for that dlc pack it wasn't much to have it taken away in virtual currency in game and not being able to afford to repair it let's wait and see look out for future let's plays it's going to be time that tells isn't it over time come on bubbles get this fish in I think we'll run to about 9am I think round about half oh, past 8 8 o'clock it starts peaking down um, fish one oh ho, ho, we got another trophy 1490 smackaroonies was that trophy catfish 
that's the second one we've had out at 28 pounds take a picture wobbles just on just a 28 pounder just under 29 pounder just under 29 pounds 28 pound trophy catfish we're having that we've had two out in this session that's not bad that's not bad i think it might start going a little bit quieter towards 8 30. i think it started dropping down um the peak time we'll catch them during the day but the bites won't be as often as um what we've had so far so i might round it up i might i may round it up we'll, we'll just see let's just sit under this tree because i think the bites are might not come as quick but we'll just we'll just wait and see now because we're dropping out of the peak time so what i would generally do i mean the bites have been quite regular so far i know we are dropping out of the peak peak time if i remember correctly uh what i would generally do is if i was going to fish throughout the day yeah the peak time is dropping yeah so we've got a big dip there now if you look at the weather forecast We've got a big dip, so the peak time we're currently at round at approximately 8:30. Um, we've got a it's it's uh, it's dipping, so the bites possibly well they're not going to be as frequent as what as what we've had them through the morning. So what I would do if I was going to continue here now, I would either change the baits on my feeder to one that i perhaps know the bass are going to get um, or i would set up a third rod and do some float fishing because if i remember rightly in fishing planet you could also catch these catfish during the day as well so i think yeah i would leave if i was doing this now i would leave them two rods as they are with that bait on and would set up a third rod on the float and i would do a bit of float fishing and just try me luck and see if i could catch a catfish out of the peak times i mean you do catch out of the peak times you just don't catch fish as regularly as you can see now we've gone a couple of minutes now i think and we've not had a bite so the swirls are still there, but they could be bass. Could be bass out there. Generally is. Generally a good spot for bass as well here. I think what I will do, because we haven't had a 30 pounder out today, have we? We've had a... We, we come close. We had a 28 pound. A couple of 28s. I think in a future video, I'll go to another spot on this river. And I will try to catch um some of the bigger catfish because i know there is bigger catfish in here there used to be um i'll go to um a couple of the a couple of the uh, or one spot I, I think it's one other spot i know of well i know of two but it's roughly in the same area um where i can catch where i have caught big catfish out of here in the past a lot bigger a bit bigger than what i've caught today the biggest one was and they were 28 pound weren't they wasn't lucky enough to have a 30 out of 30 plus out but uh yeah yeah it's peaking down it's peaking down so i think what i'll do is i'll end it here but i'll just show you i'll just show you the rod setups that um that i've used today so let's just have a look how many fish we actually got i think it was seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. we got seven two trophy flathead catfish coming in at just over 28 pounds was the best we did today in this session bearing in mind you will need a huge keep net to get um, a large quantity of catfish in such as this so please bear that in mind 
Uh, let's just have a look at the team on the screen. There you go. That's the trophy flathead catfish. But look out for a future video. I'll go after the bigger ones. Today I was specifically just trying to catch a tro not a trophy, but a flathead catfish, and that was that was all I wanted to do today. Um, so look out for future future videos where I will go after the bigger ones, and I'll show you how I catch them. Um, the rods you can see on the left hand side there, the feeder feeder rod I used. Um, you might want to pause it. And I'll scroll down at the moment. I'm just checking these. I'm just looking through these uh, some of the weights of these fish here that we had. But um, if you if you uh, the rod the rod wasn't the best rod. The reel wasn't the best reel, um, but it did the job. And if what I'll do, you might want to pause it if you want to copy that setup. If you haven't got a better rod available to you at the moment. Um, this is the only, this is the best combination I had at the moment. Um, on the left hand side you can see all the information. You might need to pause it but you will see all the information. I had a hashtag for hook on which was the, uh, the catfish hook, um, the black one. Um, but the rest of the information you can see up there on the screen. So. If you want to copy that, give it a go. It, it worked well for that size catfish. I don't know if it will for the bigger catfish. If you enjoyed the video, guys, smack that like button. I was just trying to look in the shop to see if there was any more rods and reels available. But because I'm still in game, it won't let me. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'll leave that information up there on the screen regarding the, uh, the rod and the kit. You might have to pause it and go back a, back a bit to see everything. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Look out for future episodes where I will go and catch even bigger catfish out of this river. Thanks for watching, chaps. Tight lines.